Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden. And boy, oh boy, have I got a job on today. So in this video, I have been tasked with recreating a waterfall which did previously occur over the face of these rocks, which is a partially man-made stream. The stream is natural, but this has been engineered and landscaped as a bit of a feature in this client's garden some 10 to 15 years ago. And what it is, is actually a series of walkways, which is rather nice. This oak board walks through this kind of riparian wet woodland habitat, which is really, really wonderful habitat. And the stream naturally comes from further up there from a spring and then feeds into what is now a pond, but what should be a more free flowing body of water over the top of these rocks into the stream and carrying on down there, which where you can hear it currently already does. However, what happened was a few months back when there were some bad storms over there somewhere, there was a willow tree that uprooted itself, got blown over and by the root plate lifting up, it allowed some of the water that was being channeled down through this part of the stream to kind of escape, if you like, bypass around the waterfall or bypass the waterfall, go round and then come back down somewhere in this undergrowth down here and what the client wants to do is obviously recreate the nice waterfall effect that used to be here which was here funnily enough when I planted up the bog garden behind me which is coming on really really nicely now two years ago I planted that and that's looking absolutely fantastic loads of wildflowers in there and it's right at the end of the season we're almost into September in a couple of days so again a really nice habitat for wildlife but today's task or over the next few days, it's to see if we can't block up the um, water where it is escaping over there, divert the water flow back into this main body of water to recreate the waterfall over that edge. I think we might need a bit of luck on this one, guys. So stick around and see if we can achieve what this water body used to do. So one thing I've noticed straight away, which I did already know about this site to be fair, after having worked here before, is that this ground, even in the middle or towards the end of August, where it's been pretty dry, about as dry as the ground is going to get, it's very, very wet in this part of this wet woodland. So yes, uh, a very good job. I've used a small machine. That was one of the reasonings for bringing the Bobcat in is it's not a heavy machine. It's only two tons. so. It's not massive. Anything bigger would have surely just sunk and created a real problem and would have no doubt been towing it out shortly after we brought it in. So, but equally I wanted something a little bit more with a bit more oomph, shall we say, than the micro digger. So yes, hopefully the Bobcat is once again going to provide invaluable in terms of hopefully resolving this issue. From this side, you can see the uh, all the duckweed on the former pond or the new pond, should I say, on the backside of what is a spit of land that kind of goes in between now the new kind of backwater if you like which runs down here which starts you can just see the upturned root plate sort of through there so the water sort of comes through as i say bypasses or diverts around the where it should do and then drops back in down there so i'm just going to firstly clear all this vegetation to see what's happening i just can't see where anything is at the moment and uh yeah try and evaluate the situation and go from there. Well, a very different day two here in Surrey. As you can see, it is raining. <laughs> Consistently has been all morning. And after a bit of an investigative work with the digger on that side, we found uh, a big clay pipe which suggests that that has always traditionally been and historically been a kind of a backwater and possibly the old route of the stream before this area was landscaped and turned into a wetland so my guess is that that stream is actually or has been running independently of this part of the stream for some time certainly since this wetland creation and funnily enough today we now have some running water over the rill which i think is a due to the rain um and also because the water is going to 
divert wherever it can and try to go back to where it wants to go to. So my thinking is uh, because of the rain and like I say, the new levels of water, I'm going to just try and clear out the back of this stone waterfall just to see if that helps with the flow because once this duckweed starts clearing, we then know that it's working and the, the flow is pushing through enough in order to keep the water clear. So that probably will help a great deal. I've also got a bit of clearance I wanna do down here. We've got some duckweed that's piled up down here and all this is just a bed of Falls watercress now, which doesn't look much like a stream. So I'm gonna get in there and clear some of that out, clear some of this out, and then we'll see how the flow is looking after that. Well, look at that already. Just by removing that raft of grass and vegetation that was caught on the back of the rocks there, we've already got a really nice flow. You can see all that duckweed now pushing through from the top and going over the waterfall into the stream below. So what we're now going to do is get up to that end of the pond where it's a lot shallower. It's about 18 inches, two feet deep. So we're gonna go right over the top of my wellies if I go in there. But I think we're gonna clear the vegetation, more of those grass rafts and there's a mouthful, um, at the top to try and see if that can increase the flow through here and push the rest of the duckweed through and then hopefully sustain the water levels over this stone waterfall, which would be great, which is obviously the end goal and what has happened for many, many years. So it's not like the water levels have dropped because it's spring fed, it's never dried out. So um, obviously when we first came, we thought that it was the willow tree because that had uprooted it, it sort of created a hole in the side of this water body which was then pushing the water out down through the backwater and then coming back in down here and joining up with the stream. After a bit of investigative work as I say it turns out that that was already an existing stream right the way through because the water we've traced right back up so it's almost running parallel it's hardly flowing at all so it's a very very small body of water but it just means that that is now flowing kind of alongside very steadily this main water body so there's no reason I don't think why this shouldn't continue to flow as it was once we've cleared all the vegetation out up the top there and down this bottom. So stick around and let's see if we can get this stream looking a bit better yet. So herein lies the problem. We have this grass that has obviously built up and built up. You can see all along these margins and it's just holding on to the duckweed and hopefully it will all start to clear and you can see there's now a clear section right the way through the middle of this stream um craig's got a nice rakeful on that side so <laughs> he's he's doing the easy bit i've got almost up to the top of my wellies in the middle of this so uh if i don't make it out then i'm in sorry somewhere guys just send a search party um anyway yes it's hopefully going to work quite nicely once i've been along and hand pulled all this grass out of this edge. It will just allow the flow to go through a bit more. Then I'm gonna go back up behind me and free up this section a bit more to allow a bit more water through. I think just everything has been clogged up and the Fool's watercress, even on the other side of the bridge is really holding up the flow a lot as well. So I think if we can get that cleared, it's raining heavy now, but who cares? We're wet, I'm in a pond, <laughs> can't get much wetter. So yes, hopefully, this is going to look very different in a few hours, so stay tuned. that side clear now as you can see of some of the watercress but mostly all of the grass that was coming right out into the middle of this pond slash stream because it basically is <laughs> it's a bit of both it's a nice natural wetland so I'm going to head back up that way now to start clearing the watercress and some of the grass to again let more water through to be able to push it downstream and I should say at this point guys stay tuned because I have another video 
on where I have created, or I'm about to create at this point in time, uh, another mini wetland within this stream system a bit further downstream. So we just want to clear everything to let the water through so we can see what it's doing naturally first before I get in there with a digger. So stick around, another video to come on that. But I'm sorry to say, the wellies didn't make it. <laughs> I'm officially boot full of welly now. Boot full of welly, boot full of water. Yeah, both feet. The only regret is that I didn't take my socks off first. And the only consolation is that it's not January. So uh, I'm very grateful right now. So yes, onwards and upstream, and I'm gonna clear that bit out next. And then we're gonna head on the other side of this lovely oak deck walkway and see if we can start on the watercrest on the other side of the bridge. Well, now with two wellies full of water, if you don't believe it, actually, I'll, I'll prove it. <laughs> one. <laughs> I won't do the other one just yet. Uh, with two wellies full of water, or now one, I'm now going to head to the other side of the bridge up there, as you can see. This is now flowing a treat. Look at that, that was non-existent yesterday. And it's doing a great job. All the duckweed now is pushing through. Now we've cleared all the vegetation. There's a bit of a raft blocking the main entrance there. And as I say, above that bridge, there's a lot more vegetation to clear. And then we can start thinking about the downstream section, which is absolutely choked up with Falls Watercrest. So yes, yeah, still a lot of work to do yet, but that is really, really satisfying to see. So, Well, we're back for day two here, restoring and trying to get the flow of this waterfall going. And after a bit of work this morning to clear the bottom side of the stream, look at that now, absolutely crystal clear, looking absolutely as intended. Gorgeous, beautiful little stream. Really is flowing quite nicely now. There's still a little bit of duckweed left I thought that the majority of that would have gone through last night and it pretty much has. So we've been clearing out this morning the duckweed that's obviously dropped into here and putting it on the side and collecting that and putting it on the compost. And most of it has gone through now. There are some little bits left, but they will continue to just kind of push through. But I'm really happy with that. We didn't end up going over the other side of the bridge in the end because last night we thought, well, let's let it clear through, see how the water levels do. And as you can see, it's flowing nicely. So there's no need to clear any more water, uh, sorry, any of the water crests, should I say, at the top end above the bridge. Obviously, if that grows in a bit more, it might need a bit of maintenance moving forwards. But at the moment, I'm very happy with the flow on that. And I'm sure the client will be chuffed to bits to see his mini waterfall in full flow again, looking absolutely idyllic really is just beautiful and this flows downstream as you can see under through the trees and off down to the second phase of the project which i have been working on so do check out that video depending on when i, when I put this one up it will be coming up soon if it's not already and that is a really nice example of where we've actually made a new kind of very slow moving still pond within this stream we've cleared out a bit of an island and that's a, a lovely little project that, uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. So, yes, no doubt the duckweed will kind of filter through and we'll perhaps have to sort of clear a bit out downstream again, as I say. But I think it should be fairly easy to keep on top of this stream and this water system now. And, uh, yeah, really, really keen to come back and see this and see how it's looking in a few months. But I suspect the um, duckweed will be mostly gone and now the river is continuously flowing as long as the client is able to keep the top of this sort of real waterfall clear i don't think there will be any more issues and obviously mitigate and keep on top of the falls watercress which does grow very well in these parts and these shallow streams it does do very very well and can take over quite quickly so yes a bit of mitigation of that other than that a job well done i'd say what do you think let me know your thoughts in the comments below guys and obviously if you haven't already please feel free to subscribe to the channel 
and give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and you've enjoyed seeing this restoration obviously stick around because i've got loads more videos coming up of how you can help wildlife in your own garden you don't need a natural stream running through your garden it would be nice i would love it myself but you don't have to have that so yes a big thank you for watching and obviously as always guys drop some comments below and i'll be happy to answer and help if i can so thank you all for watching stay tuned and i'll see you all very soon mm -hmm.